Switch, if you're new here, welcome. Um, so today I'm going to do a simple mani. Um, I'm going to try this beige pink from Double Dip, Double Dip Store com. It's like a nudie, see-through beige kind of color, so we'll see if that works with my skin. And I'm going to use Fin Flippin' Tastic, Fin Flippin' Tastic from the Sparkle & Co's June bag, the mermaid one. It's packed in there, like really packed. Uh, I think they said there was not just like flaky and glitter, but some kind of new fabric or some shit like that. I don't know. We'll see it. And I think it changes in UV light. Still, not sure. Um, yeah, I finally just settled on these. I kept going back and forth about four things. And I got my double dip liquids. So what I plan on doing is full nail of this. Where was I thinking? Um, shit, it was just in my head. I want to do that tippity tap thing. I got the brushes. But I want to blend these two. So it'll look like I got something on the tips. Hopefully it works out. I think it was these two and my thumb. So this is full glitter and this is full glitter. I gotta put a piece of tape on that. So I'll put a piece of tape on that and then we'll start. Wish me luck. Okay, so first I'm just going to put a, a quick layer of the base down on my nail. Let that dry. It dries really quick, less than a minute, um, and it's completely dry. In hopes that it will give me more time when I am doing this tap ombre gradient slash whatever it is kind of mani. So, this is the glitter. I don't know what fabric or material they were talking about. This stuff was super airborne. Um, it seemed to be a bunch of foil and tiny glitter or something. I don't. That's what I'm trying to show you. That pink one actually glows pretty bright in UV light. Um, just my camera is hard to capture it, so I'm just gonna dump out a little bit of this nude so I can the brush in that and not jack up that whole jar of it. So we're going to do one pass at this speed and the next pass will go, it'll get eventually spe speedier, quicker. Um, does it, it, it just it would take too long. The video will be way, way too long. So I, I'm going to start near the cuticle area and the nail bed area and then tap the glitter and I'll do that on all three nails and then I will come back on the second pass and do it the opposite way to try to get that blend but the stupid glitter kept falling off. Only the clear acrylic was sticking to it. See, there's only like a, a few pieces stuck to it. Not one piece of the boils all stuck to the damn brush. And a piece of it, everything was flying in the air. It stuck to my um, glasses. I didn't realize it. I, kept, I saw it, but I didn't realize it was actually stuck to my glasses. I was like, what the hell? That piece, where is that piece? <laughs> I'm looking around and it was on my damn glasses. So it's just like a blend, you're just trying to blend it in. And I don't know if that first pass of base coat helped me or not, but I am like super, super slow. I watched this in regular time and I thought I was in slow motion. I was like, nah, <laughs> no, that's how slow I am. So everything's going to dry on me. I don't know if this would have worked better with uh, the gel method, but either way, tapping that glitter would not have stuck to the gel. I, I think I, I tried that before and it didn't work and I had to switch over to the dip liquids because it's stickier. So 
again, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going to tap and then tap some of this stuff on. If it gets on the nail bed, you can just, you know, try to move it as quick as you can off of there. Because the whole thing is still sticky, but just getting it to stick to where you want it is a pain in the butt. I do go out of the frame when I'm, like, brushing off. And I apologize for that, but I'm only brushing off. You're not really seeing anything important. I'm trying to keep from brushing it off into that uh, nude pink beige, beige pink color. And now we're going to go with the second pass, and I'm going to start with the glitter. It was, oh god. I was getting aggravated. <laughs> To be honest, I was getting really aggravated. I just wanted it to stick. I wanted those oils on there. And I noticed that like when I go down with the base coat, it starts ab absorbing what's underneath it. So I have to go in kind of like, it seems like with a thicker coat, to make sure it just doesn't start getting sucked under by the acrylic that's underneath, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense to me. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's just what it is. I don't know how to explain this. I'm just tapping, tapping. And then I'll do one more pass and I'll start again with the that beigey pink. As soon as I brush off, that's when I realize, oh, I just brushed off all my shit. Like you get one or two good pieces to stick and it's like, oh god. So here I go again, third pass and that'll be it. I do manually put some pieces on there. I go in with a, you know, I just dab a dot of base coat, but I don't show that because that just took me forever. I was just trying to fill in some, a lot of bald spots where it wasn't, it wasn't heavy enough to fall. It just kind of went whoosh and everything stuck to the brush or just kind of flew in the air. There wasn't any like a weight in that glitter mix of whatever the hell it is. It's super pretty, but it doesn't, I don't know, I don't know the word for it. It, it doesn't show up well inside, like outside in the light. You can, you can see some sparkle to it there, but outside it's super sparkly. Whatever the hell's in it is sparkly. I just see a bunch of oils, that's what I see. But I can't see very well. So I'm just trying to tap some in. And now we'll, I already kind of filled in some bald spots. I think I go back and fill in some more after this. So I'm just gonna do the full coats on the nail. I try squishing my finger down into the corner. That didn't pick up much. I mean, it picked up more than if I had tried to tap it on, for sure. But uh, kind of pushing your finger into the, I don't, I don't even know why I'm doing that. I don't think I go back into the, I don't think I go back into that uh, cupcake liner. I'm gonna go and push my finger against the side like stick it in and push it against the side, try to get the glitter to stick that way. And it worked much better that way. And I can get rid of my sticky notes now. So I'll just do two passes of this. Just two coats, because it would just otherwise bulk up the nail, even though it's mostly foils. Yeah, I think a full mani of just this glitter would be very pretty but that's just too easy. Like, I can do that. I don't need to, 
to like visually document it for my own reference. Uh, yeah. I try to do something I don't know how to do on camera so I can try to look back and learn from it and say, oh, that's where you made your mistake. Because there's, there's always mistakes. In, <laughs> there's always mistakes in my videos. But I'm not here to try to teach anybody shit. I'm just trying to visually document it so I can see where I went wrong, what I did right, and stuff like that. And a lot of times everything just goes sideways. But that's okay. I'm learning. I am no DIY expert, that's for damn sure. So now we're gonna clear encapsulate as soon as I grab my little spoon here to pour over. See, I went in and placed some of those oil pieces in the gaps instead of bulking it out more with clear acrylic that's in the glitter. So I'm only going to show a few nails being clear encapsulated because it's, it's clear. I'm not sticking my finger in the jar. The chances of these foils getting stuck in there, even though it is my glitter jar, it's, yeah, I wasn't about to do that. So I'm just trying to pour over, dust it over, whatever it is. And that's it. Now we're going to activate. I'm going to activate the tip, give it a second, and then push, squeeze, push, squeeze, tap. And I'm going to do one by one. I kind of do that nudie area first. And then start tapping and squeezing. Because while it's hardening up, you can squeeze it in a little bit. It works with the chunky glitters. Not very well for me. But I, I know it works with the chunky glitters because I forget, who was it, maybe Nicole MacArthur, the one that did a video on it. I am not sure who it was, but yeah, they did that. So I'm going to leave you here because I'm going to file and bump and then real time talk with Top Coat. I'm done, and now it's just Top Coat time. And I figured I would give my final thoughts while um, I'm top coating. Um, it was kind of a pain in the butt to work with. But again, this was my first time doing that tippity tap thing with a... What is it? An ombre? A, a gradient? I'm not sure what the hell it's called. Um, so... But it is beautiful. It's beautiful in the end. It's not super thick. I'll show you after I cure my nails. Um, yeah, I'm glad I went in with that extra little dabs on the end. And this uh, nude beige color, I really like it. So I'm going to have to get a, a larger jar before they, I don't know if it's mainline or whatever, but it's um from Double Dip. Not the same brand that I use their dip liquids. I know I rarely ever use a top coat. It's something else. I just like a uh, gel top coat, especially because I like to put some stones on. And I'm not sure how to do the stones and then... Uh, what do you call it? What's it called? Then activate and top coat around that. Like, I'm not sure. I'm not even capping my edges. My tips or whatever the hell they're called. I shouldn't even have did this thumb. I should have did it separately. That's what happens when I talk. And do stuff at the same time. How do I function? How do I get through life? 
but the pink, the pink foil stuff, I don't know what fabric they were talking about or material. It seemed like foil to me. That's what it seemed like to me. It was like a bunch of foils and a lot of it didn't want to stick. Yeah, that's my first time doing that tippity tap thing. Especially with a glitter. Actually, I've never actually done it. I've only done it in my cuticles, actually. So we're just gonna cure that for 60 seconds. And uh, yeah, this beige pink, I think looks nice. I thought I was gonna be drawn more to the, it's called pinky pink. It's like a translucent pink. But this looks more like my natural, Male bed color, oh my god, words. But this was, it was it's, it's pretty, it's very pretty. Um, this is the I want it all color. Um, on a full nail, it was very, it was much easier to work with without using the fluffy brush, so that worked out nice. So I got some uh, cuticle oils to try. I got these from Love by Verdi. I just got uh, two little sample sizes. Um, she has different scents. I got a cup, a few other things, but um, I wanted to try. I have so many, so much cuticle oil, and then I have a big, oh, what is that? Eight ounce bottle of jojoba oil. Oh, for fuck's sake! And my vitamin E and my essential oil blend that I like. This open. This is a great way to try. The scents that she has. What did I get? Mango, lavender, chamomile. I love lavender to go to sleep at night. I think these are three mil. What? 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 Why? Oh. It had this little thing like you had to push down. I guess that's a safety feature. Let's try it. so cute this little dropper oh my god I don't like to drop touch it to my skin even though I'm the only one that uses it still she has a mango butter mango butter oh my god what the hell uh, cuticle butter that you can order and she has other stuff too nice. I don't know. What do you think about this mani now that I zoomed you way the fuck out? I think it's cute. I had to put some bling on it. I just had to. So. Oh, and I just want to say, hi, Ronnie. Hi, how are you? I didn't want to say hi to Ronnie. So I also got this because that mine broke. The magnet popped out and I've glued it so many times that it doesn't want to work. And I got these, uh, steampunk scissors. I always love scissors. And I got some bling. Pink back clear stones. These these have good facets to them. Um, I got some fall stickers in black and gold. You can't see that over my skin. Anyways. Black and gold leaves. Different leaves. And I've been eyeing this for a while. I know it's Christmas. They're Christmas foils. And these were the blue ones. And I've been looking at them, looking at them, looking at them, looking at them. So I said, frick it, let me order it now before they disappear and they're never to be found again. So I, do, I really like the deer and the, the bear. I thought they were cute. So yeah, the cuticle oil feels nice. Let me sniff my finger. Oh, that smells nice. The lavender and the chamomile together. Quite relaxing. I'll put that one next to my bed and I'll leave mango here. Look at how tiny this this bottle is. So freaking cute, but it's a great way to uh, try all the scents that she has without investing in a one ounce bottle. So uh, I'll leave Verdi, love by Verdi, her YouTube channel and her store and all that stuff down below, so you can go check her out. She's awesome. She does. She's a DIYer, just teaching herself, living her life, trying to do nails. So 
I don't know. I'll take some pictures. I think this pink glows in the sun. It was glowing in the lamp when I was carrying these things on. So, yeah. Tell me what you think down below. You like these, Ronnie? Let me know down in the description. Description. Oh, my God. Words. In the comment section. Anyways, I've wasted your time enough. Thanks for spending some time with me. Um, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, do all that YouTube shit. You guys have a good one. Bye.